Okay, so I'm just going to show real quickly some of the stuff that has been created. So I'll just let this start and quickly show. Okay, so a couple of new things added here, which I'll soon bring up, but essentially we have adjusted a bunch of things. So I'll open all of these just to show you what's sort of been done. Probably notice from the quick glance that there's been subtle changes, but I will get to that. So first thing I'll start off with, I created a new object of sorts which I've called the orb. So the orb is going to react as our light source. So how does it have the light you ask? Well, it's attached to, we have a texture material that's attached to the orb. So if we get out the orb, we'll go into the orb brightness material. So what it does, we have a constant three vector, which is set to a sort of orangey tinge, and that's plugged straight into base color. We then have a constant vector with a value of 100, which is going to react as our brightness sensor. So we also have the constant three vector plugged into multiply in A, and the constant one vector plugged into B. So this multiply is also hooked into a missing, creating the light color. So in this, we've had some changes. So we've now finally implemented the crouch. I worked out the issue there. And just to show, I realized with the base color for this, we can probably set it to have a metallic -y look as well. So I'll, I'll just save that now. So that'll slightly adjust it a little bit. I could probably even set up a multiply form in there as well. So I'll, I'll actually bring that back and I'll quickly add in a uh, multiply. So I'll just get rid of this. We'll have that in there and we will use our constant, just singular constant. The singular constant plugs into there. We'll set it to 50 to start us off and we can plug that into metallic. So 50 is a bit low, so maybe 100. So that'll add a nice glossy sort of look to that. So just save all that. Um, but back to here, so we set up the little about button as well. So we'll be getting this about button working, which it has been. So very similar to the options section, so when clicked, if it's valid, then it adds to viewport. If it's not valid, then it creates the about menu widget, sets the about menu ref, which is also attached into the import object. So we set all this up nice and pretty. And in the pause, we, we have it all the exact same as well. So I'll, I'll just slowly adjust this to 1920 by 1080 just to fully configure that. And we will also adjust this one as well to 1920 by 1080. So it's all naturally set now. So this screen could expand out a bit more. So I'll just do that. First, I'll drag this get about there, then we get this and drag that over. And now that's set for our full 1080. So if I just select all of these pretty little things, we're just going to move them just a touch over. So essentially I'm just quickly showing what I'm doing, so just drag that over a little bit, make it look all pretty. 
bada bing bada boom and we drag that there too compile save compile so options menu is complete pause menu we this will need to just drag over here a little bit and we drag this to here so pause compile save that's done now in this we set up the about menu button we also set up the achievements button so first off i'll drag this out to the 1920 by 1080 point mark and luckily this one has auto adjusted for us so i don't need to adjust any of this for the time being so compile save but it's all the same so achievements button and the about button if they're valid they create the widget set add to viewport and with the ref as well so you can see it's not much different visually it's the exact same just has an about button and we got this new menu now which is our about menu so i'll just size this up to size as well so as you can see we've sort of aligned everything centralized so i'll just delete this thing because that one's unnecessary so click on story button we had a flip-flop set but there's no point because it's unnecessary just not working as it should so we'll have that out for now but essentially with this you're able to scroll which i'll show shortly we have controls go back main menu and options and you can see we have our pretty little artwork as well so if i just hide that or not that one so it'll be this one so you can see that it's a nice little home setting there so i'll just unhide that again and save and we can close that so you know about the org now as well and we used bridge for some new textures so i'll show you how the torch currently looks now so if i drag it up here we've just got a flat black map on this torch just because it's all it sort of really needs for the moment as it's just a temporary attachment for it so now on to the next part which is the first person blueprint so we are setting up strafing it's not quite set just yet but however flashlight so toggles turns torch spotlight on but with our crouch you'll probably notice it's a bit different because we changed a couple of things here so when pressed it sets the capsule half height to 60 with a delay of three seconds when released which readjusts the capsule half height so i'll show that in game very shortly but you've seen all the other settings and everything for the moment and this is just how the camera is so you can see the spotlight pointing down because that spotlight's connected to our torch very simple so if i just go back into the ui and i'll go back into main menu so there's no not the main menu my bad it is in the options menu you've probably noticed there's textures here so currently textures is causing some minor bugs but that is currently being corrected but we've adjusted some new settings so it gets the game user settings renders the view distance scale and then applies the setting so originally we just had it executing the strike command but we adjusted that and we did the same thing for the anti-aliasing so it gets the settings and then applies the settings so the reason why we've actually changed that a bit is because there was some bugs which have now been corrected by fixing that but i'll show you with this texture setting that's slightly different which is brand new 
So it gets the game user settings, sets the texture quality, and then applies the setting from 0, 1, 2. But that is how it looks now. So it's pretty much the exact same with next to no difference. But inside of this level, you'll notice it is a bit different. So I'll speed it up. So we've got these three boxes now. So this one that I've just briefly selected, this will be our test level. And then in here, this was the other level. So as you can see, played around with the lights and everything and made it look real pretty and just done some adjustments. And then in here, we will be adding way gates of sorts. So they'll be in this general area. So what the way gates will essentially do, they will make it so when you walk into them, it will put you in a set area. So I'll just quickly click play so I can show you. So just waiting for this to load and there we go. So you can see you're walking, you can sprint and the sprint gauge goes down and crouch. So let's bring out our flashlight. So you can see the flashlight is here and it is working. So with the crouch, the crouch is working. So I'll just go back to the pause menu and you can see some subtle changes. So to the area, we have the lights, so you still got your jump. I might adjust the jump height just to make it a little higher, but already working, we do have the weapon is on the right side with the light being on the left side, which is about right. So this gun is so sound you like you can flick the flashlight on and off. So we do have these different lights and played around with some textures as well. So if I just casually just slowly walk through here, you'll start to notice things just lighting up. So it's a bit better and this is the scrolling option I was talking about. So we have the short description with the creators included can go to options, we can go windowed and say 1920 by 1080, go back, uh, go back and we can restart. So scene is restarted, but there will be a variety of adjustments that are still to come, of course, but for now, this is what we sort of have. So, that is it for the moment.